How'd the first scrimmage go? Good. Um, kind of like the first scrimmage, you know, how it's supposed to go. You know, there's some good and some bad. Um, we're looking to build on that and just take it into have a better second scrimmage. What do you want, offense or defense? I think it's always a thing. I mean, we made some plays. They made some plays. This is really back and forth, kind of hard to tell. Um, you know, we were going up against second you know, defense right away and did some good stuff. And our first defense has some good stuff against our second team offense. So it's kind of hard to gauge that, you know. How, how would you gauge your own performance at center? Obviously, that's kind of a lot more responsibility than maybe guard. I mean, it's different. You know, I'm still trying to learn. Um, just get out the guard and it's that I've developed, you know. But I think it went good and a lot of good stuff to take away from it and a lot of stuff to improve on. You know, when we tried to shore that up this week and um, that was clean stuff up going into the scrimmage Saturday. Was that more of a different scrimmage for you than the previous scrimmage at Alabama since you were at a new position? Yeah, I mean, it's been a different spring for me. You know, I mean, just the spring and hole has been different and um, just trying to take on that new leadership role. And, you know, we lost, you know, key players, Ryan Kelly and Dominic Jackson. Just trying to step up, and so it's been different, but you know, I've embraced the challenge. It's been a lot of fun. How much more comfortable do you think that you are at this point, you know, from the last time we talked to you when you kind of initially made the move? Um, just try, you know, obviously each day I get more comfortable just trying to play faster and get the position down and calls, and just I think it's more of just gelling with the guys that you're in. You know, we've been mixing a bunch of guys in there, and um, so it's been good, though. Just, just in terms of commanding the huddle. How was Cooper Bateman at quarterback of the first Good. I mean, he's been here, you know, the oldest guy, the quarterback that we have. So um, he knows the offense really well and been commanding us. And, you know, whoever's in there, we're going to do our best to protect them and do the job that we have to do. So. With Lester's a versatile guy that played guard tackle. What do you see from him so far this year? Lester's done a really good job. Um, good player. He's got really good hands. And um, he's made the transition smooth. You know, I mean, it's different playing tackle to guard. So. He's done a really good job so far. What's that been like? Uh, all the movement, we spoke about it, but Nick's, Nick's spoken about it. So just trying to see what works, what fits for the top five guys. What's, what's that been like for you? I mean, it's been the same. You know, each guy's got to step up and do his job. And we're here to carry him, you know, all the way through and make sure that the job gets done. So we kind of take ownership as a whole, as an offensive line, that no matter who's in there, you know, we're going to get the job done. Shotgun snap, I mean, how what's your success rate? Uh, getting it back to the quarterback. <laughs> it's been frustrating, but I mean, it's different because you know, I got Deron Payne you know, in, in my face right here, and I'm trying to get the ball back, and he's got his hands on me. So, I mean, it's been different, and you know, I'm just trying to work on it and keep it going. But. One of the hardest parts, do you think, of this? Yeah, I'd say so. Just, I mean, you try not to think about it as much, you know, because then that's really, that's when you really mess up, is when you think about it a lot. So, um, just focus on your job and what you got to do and try to command everyone else too. What's it like going against a guy like Dijon every day in practice? I mean, he's he's a freak. Uh, I think he ran like a four nine something, and he weighs more than me, and he's stud in the weight room. So I mean, he's just he makes me better, and you know I try to make him better too. But um, it's you know it's a challenge every play. I mean, we've seen guys like that go through, and you know I mean Ashawn, I went up against him every play last every play last year, so. I haven't had it very easy the last couple of years, but um, you know it makes me better. So when you talk about shotgun snaps, how do you get better at that? Do you have to keep after practice take hundred extra reps? I mean, we practice before, uh, do stuff before practice with the uh, quarterbacks and stuff like that. Just you know, trying to mess with different techniques and talk to you know, I talked to Coach Vallejos and I talked to Ryan Kelly last night and um, just give little tips and pointers and stuff. So you're not like at home shooting a pillow across a room at night? No. Okay. no. Like I said, the more you think about it, I think the more you mess up. So that's kind of the advice that they've given me, just not to think about it and shoot it back there. You said, you said you talked to Ryan. How often are you speaking with him on a regular basis? I mean, yeah, I see him. No, I see him probably once a day. I mean, he's down here working out and stuff like that, and we'll pass by and share a couple words. But last night I just talked probably 20 minutes just about how he's doing and just talking about center position and stuff like that. He just gave me some little tips. Nothing huge. What's his best advice? Or I don't know. What's his best advice? Um, shooting, shooting my offhand, getting my hand on him right away. And um, just gave me some tips about like my stance and stuff like that. So. Thanks, Ross. Thanks, Ross. Thanks, Thank, Thank you. Thank you. You're right-handed, right? Yeah.